after picking up our daughters from Delft, we are heading to a, a famous village full of uh, 18th century windmills. We have been to Kintajai a few years ago. We are coming back again just because it is so beautiful. And like other towns, Kintajai is so photogenic with windmills everywhere. If we are very keen on uh, photography, Kinderjoy is definitely a recommendable place. Make sure you come on a perfect day and also come early in the morning and late in the evening. I am sure you will be uh, able to obtain the best creations of your life. The village Kinderjoy was granted UNESCO UNESCO World Heritage status because of its uniqueness with windmills all over the place. The Netherlands has many many cities. This time I'm only going to take you to a few cities. Delft, Amsterdam, a little bit of Rotterdam, The Hague, and Gierdon, a village in Overijssel. There are a few small farms around this area. Occasionally, you will see sheep grazing on a small scale farm. You will see the villagers relaxing, walking along the path with their pet dogs or cats. And of course, lots of visitors like to come up here and take in lots of photos. Oh, we meal here. Um, it is as usual. You need as always. Love it. Love this area, Kinderjit. It's got lots of lots of ancient windmill. They're not using it anymore, but it is really photogenic. Especially when you come during sunset time. But unfortunately, <laughs> this time we don't have a time. Time uh, to stay by. Uh, until sunset so I went I came a long time ago and I took both uh, early in the morning and sunset I can show it here it's so beautiful
next we arrive in Deng Haag. Deng Haag is a city on the North Sea coast of the Western Netherlands. Its Gothic star Binnenhof or Inner Core Complex is the seat of the um, Dutch Parliament. Deng Haag, also home to the United Nations International Court of Justice, headquartered in the Peace Palace and the International Criminal Court. Deng Haag city centre is huge, with rows and rows of buildings and shopping arcades. I love it so much. And then we rest at a beautiful arcade cafe for a good afternoon tea. person who like peace and quiet surrounding, Giton in Netherlands should be your ideal place to stay. For a quiet walk or hire for a local tourist boat, you can see and enjoy so much. Giton is a car free village in the northeastern Dutch province of Overijssel. It's known for the boat filled waterways footpath, bicycle trails, and century-old Dutch roof houses. The next morning we are lucky to witness a beautiful uh, misty morning in Keton. Everywhere is like a fairy lane. Uh, the air is fantastic and so fresh. Next, we decided to stop by Amsterdam for a second visit. 
I visited Amsterdam in New 2014. Not much changes since then. Still the same old canals, and life revolves around the canal. And never-ending cyclists, local and visitors. It is still as busy as it was before. We parked our car in one of the underground car park near the city central library. From the dark underground, we walk our way up to the ground level. The beautiful blue sky stunned us. Then we notice the beautiful and unique scenery, the people, the canal, and the Dutch barge. To let you know, the Dutch barge is a traditional flat bottom shower drop barge originally used to carry cargo in the shallow uh, Zuidzee and the waterways of Netherlands. There are very many types of Dutch barge with characteristic determined by regional conditions and traditions. Castle Haar is in Utrecht, Netherlands. It is the largest castle in the Netherlands. I am lucky to have a glimpse at inside and outside of the castle. As my husband planned the trip, yes, he is right. The castle is beautiful and worth a visit. Now we're going into the castle. Back to Delft, I like the night life and night scenes of Delft. It's better than the daytime of Delft. Anyways, it's my opinion. Everybody judges differently. This is Delft City Hall uh, during night time.
The new church of Dell is in the middle of the market. This church dates back to 1,300 years ago, where most of the members of the Dutch loyal family are buried. Well, that's all about my Benelux Tricks Netherlands. Hope you enjoy my video.